Okay, so we're rolling. And what is going on guys? It's your boy Lankos here back with a brand new video. And today's video is a little bit special. The reason is because uh, I'm gonna like try to do, not a remake, but I'm gonna make a video where I tape my hockey stick. I made one back in the days, like I think it's like four or five years ago. I'm not like 100% sure about like when it was, but I think it's four to five years something since I uploaded that video. And that is like one of my most viewed videos on my YouTube channel. So if you're a real OG, you know what I'm talking about, which video I'm talking about. And you know, in that video, I was, <laughs> I was young, I was really tiny, uh, my voice was different, everything was different. And also the way how I take my hockey stick was different. I mean, it's not that big of a difference, but it's still a difference. So I thought it would be a fun idea to make a new updated video on how I take my hockey stick. So for whatever reason you're watching this video, if it is for like you want, you're a kid, you want to learn how to tape your hockey stick, you want to get some inspiration on how you can tape your hockey stick. If you watch this video because you know me, if you know it, watch this video because you're a subscriber, whatever the reason is, I really hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. I know if you're like in my age, you're definitely not watching this video because you want to learn how to tape your hockey stick. That's pretty obvious. But for all you kids out there who want to learn how to tape your hockey stick, I really hope you're going to enjoy this video because I know like there is a lot of people that requested this video, an updated video on this. So let's get started. The stick we're gonna tape up today is my CCM Jet Speed Stick. This is not one of the sticks that I've been playing with lately because I really like the Jet Speed Sticks, but this stick is it's a little bit too soft for me. I like it like I want a higher flex on my stick, so this is not the stick that I've been playing with. And as you can see, it's a little bit of tape on it right now, so I'm just gonna strip off all the tape and. Then we're gonna start tape this bad boy up, so let's go. Okay guys, so the old tape is off, the stick is... Got a little old tape here. Okay, so now everything is off and this bad boy is ready to get taped up. We need some black tape. I'm gonna use Howie's just normal black tape and we need some white tape too. This is from, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, but it's, you just need some white tape, you need some black tape, and that's what we're going to use. So, we're going to start taping our blade. So, So when I'm taping my blade, I like to start about like, not in the middle of the blade, but like some somewhere about here. And I always start with the heel first, even though I'm not starting at the heel, but I'm starting from the heel side and going, working my way up to the toe. So that's how I like to tape it. So we start here. Oh my God, what a fail. Okay, so we start here and then we're just gonna start like working our way to the toe. This is nothing, you know, special. This is just like, just where I like to start and where I f how I finish it. So this part when I'm just going around and around, I mean, I can speed that part up. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so when we're at the toe, what I like to do, I use the same technique as I always been using when it comes to the toe. It's exactly the same as my old videos. It's, we're gonna like 
I gotta make sure you see this. So I like to put a finger here and then I just roll out some tape and then just like take it over like this. Oh my God. Make sure it's straight. Do the same on the other side. And there we go. And of course, it's not gonna look like this. This is not, this is not the final product. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna use our fingers to like pinch, pinch the tape. So it's gonna be easier to cut this uh, remaining piece of tape off. So we're just gonna pinch it like this, exactly the same way as I did in my old video. Okay, so something like that looks good to me. Okay, so now we need the scissors. Uh, so we're just gonna cut the remaining piece of tape off, obviously. So we just take, take it like this, working our way around the toe. So when we got all the remaining piece of tape uh, off, we just throw that stuff away. And then we're gonna use our hand palm to just make sure it looks nice and good. Since my scissors was so bad, um, it will look a little bit ugly today, but I hope you guys are fine with that. So I use my palm to just make it look nice, as I said. So that's pretty much it for the blade. This is the final product and very simple, but a very clean tape job, as you can see. Let's get started with taping the knobs. So it's it's really simple actually. My knob taping is really simple. So we're just gonna start like this and then work our way around until until we think it's thick enough. So yeah, let's go. Okay guys, I think we got it thick enough. So what we're doing now is we're gonna do a little special thing that I started doing. You know, I changed my change up my uh, tape job like from season to season. So my new little spicy thing is to go around, go down like this with the tape, make a little cool pattern. So I'm gonna go down to the D where it say, says jet speed. So there we have it. Boys and girls, we're pretty much done. And this is how my tape job looks when it comes to the knob. It's not thick at all. It's a really thin knob and it's nothing special. I don't use a lot of tape when it comes to the knob because I don't like having all the tape because just you know a personal preference and this is how, how I like it so if you guys are trying to tape your stick uh, like me please like take a picture or something post it on Instagram and tag me in your picture and I will go leave a comment on your picture and of course a little like my Instagram, I will put my instant name here and I will put a link to my Instagram profile in the description so you guys can go in and give me a little follow there. That would be really nice. Uh, I'm trying to get to 10K followers on Instagram. So if we guys could make that, that would be awesome. So that was pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's nothing special, but it's a short little you know, tutorial on how I like to take my hockey sticks. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. And as I said, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Have a good one. See you in the next one. Peace out.